So this one now, I think a lot of you been wanting to see this one because it's a island. Well, a vibe in yeah. It's a island. Boy. Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome back to Island Boy Africa channel. Yes, right, guys. So it's a evening settings right about now. Um, finish up work today. Come home. Uh, just feel lazy in a lazy mood. Had lots of rain from pretty much last night to the whole of today. Um, the sun just barely peeking out at this moment. Yeah, and yeah, um, wife gone to work, and it's me and Little Island at home. And also, guys, it's the start. It's the start of autumn in Australia. Uh, the first of March starts art autumn, so no more summer until December again. Yeah, so that is that. So it's autumn now in Australia. So also I can feel di the difference with, with even the mornings and the nights now feel a bit cooler, you know, which I love it, you know, but I'm not looking forward to winter coming again anyway, you know, but it's what it is. Yeah, man. But, um, Island, yeah. say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's cool today. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I told my friends mm, that's picking me up. Yeah, you told your friends? Yeah. 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 And what did your friends say? He said, no, my mom picking me up. Oh, so your friend mom picking him up. Is it a girl or a boy? Um, a girl. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. It was good to see you today at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to play my iPad now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that's that. Um, to be honest, guys, I've been lazy to even film. Like, uh, just been busy as of recent, and um, yeah, haven't been. Sometimes I don't even feel like taking up the camera. To be honest, guys, like, you know. So that's that's what's up, and um. Also supposed to give you guys a tour of the garden Even that I haven't been putting in as much work as um, As I used to but I'll give you guys a quick look anyway. I just call it a review um, an Update I should say of the garden I also have clothes in the background there hanging you can tell it's been raining the sun You're not really seeing the sun much really. Yeah, Still have pepper there going, you know, as usual. Have some skelly on there, yeah, man. So, the garden guys, um, haven't been doing much lately, as I said. Yeah, sometimes you just, you know, you have moments when you get so busy that not even the energy you have, you know, to deal with certain things or for maintain certain things, isn't it? So, all right, so you all. Remember the last time when I plant the cane and how far they, they reach at the time. So I'm gonna give you guys an update on how that look right now. So take a look at this. These are the cane guys. See that? These are the cane. Big giant you know. See look at that. Taller than me right you know. These are the cane. Look, take a look at the giants. See that? Long. Pull that apart. Yeah, man, long giant of cane. And so the cane them look beautiful. Just look at this bug. This look like um. What them call a bug again? A ladybug? Or one of them? Even to remember the name. But yeah, I'm, uh, I know this bug. It's hiding under the leaf though. It doesn't want to come up in the light. Come on up top, man. Oh, shoot, it dropped now. So, you all remember the last time when I gave you guys an update on the banana um, shoot? So y'all remember the last time when I gave you guys an update on the banana tree shoot? Yeah, so I haven't seen it since, so I'm gonna give you guys 
make you look at it and all oh, the progress because I haven't reaped it as yet still so um, there was one thing I was disappointed with is that I actually thought it was like a uh, I can't remember the name of what you call them banana, but um, yeah, it's actually a different banana from what it is, from what um, I was expecting. I still the food, so I mean, I mind. So this is it, guys. Take a look at that. Yeah, man. So this is what um, in Jamaica would call like a uh, well. I wouldn't say maybe I would sh I should say Portland because every region you go in, in Jamaica people call a banana even a different name not just a banana different trees they will call it different names so this year in Portland some of us would call this like a white white house banana or frog banana you see me so yeah that's what it is but I'm happy for it anyway you can see that it's beautiful there cut off the blossom there so you know it's the fat up and thing yeah man so this tree that I'm about to show you now is um, a tree that my wife um, planted and it's actually bearing so I'm gonna show you guys that and this is it right here take a look at this so this guy is a pomegranate you know, in Jamaica we would say panganat. You know, but this is a pomegranate tree, and this is the fruit. Yeah, and um, there's plenty of blossoms on it, plenty. And yeah, I think it's the blossoms that turn the pomegranate anyway. As you guys can see, there's plenty all over. You know, so yeah, as you guys can see. And the thing is, this tree was actually right over here where the clothesline is but when I just came to Australia I decided that I'm gonna move it because I didn't like it just being in the middle there and I remember digging up the tree and putting it right over here people actually were saying that the tree would, no, would never survive because maybe I dig it up too big or whatever and look at it, it's blooming sometime if you follow people you will, you will think that you would believe everything they say you know, and I'm not an expert at farming, but you know, I believe in what I'm doing. And so this is supposed to be um, the planting tree that I purchased in um, Brisbane. Um, this is how it's looking. It's looking fluffy, lovely. But at the same time, I'm like, is it really a planting tree though? Because from my memory, from memory serve, if my memory serve me right, I don't think a planting tree, the 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 base of it like here normally this red you know correct me if I'm wrong you know I'm always open for um, you guys feedback as well you know I, I never try to act like I know it all but I'm just questioning like from memory I do not think it looks so red you know it have like a lighter um, color something similar to, to like this like this tree you know that's what I'm guessing, so I don't know if it's actually a planting or maybe it's a different type that I'm not familiar with anyway. And also, who remember my sour sap tree? Who remember my beautiful sour sap tree? Look at it. Now it's just a spring up like <laughs> crazy. And also, guys, there's one thing about me I love sour sap um, tea. I love to use the leaf to make tea. From ever since I love it and also I don't love it with too much sugar if I put too much sugar it all it makes me like my stomach upset so I just barely put a little bit of sugar overall though I don't I don't like to drink tea with much sugar it upset my, it, it really upsets my stomach you get me so this one now I think a lot of you been wanting to see this one because you know from the last time I planted these sorrel you guys been wanting to see more and the progress and how everything is going and this is how they're looking these are all the sorrels all the sorrel no I know that most of you did say this to me and I, and I did know that as well because I've seen sorrel grown before 
they're obviously um, close to each other. But the thing is, and a lot of you guys also say there's so much space in the yard, why everything is bungled up or whatever. But the thing is that I don't want to use the yard space, you get me? I just want to use this side of the um, of the fence here. So that's the whole reason why I don't um, extend too much is because I don't want it to be everywhere. I don't want to plant the whole place up. I want the lawn to remain the lawn and just use this section for the garden. These are the rest of them around this corner. You see right now, the, over there is where the beans are and you can barely see over there. Like, let me show you. <laughs> Give you guys a real idea of how tall they are. These are the sorrel. You guys see that? The sun. All day it's been raining and the sun finally come out. I can't have a face. You guys seen that? These are all the sorrel. Yeah. And also, there's something else. Um... So these sorrel are just to serve, um, hopefully they will come in before the winter, you know, autumn, hopefully they will survive through autumn as well. You know, um, as I said to you guys before that um, I planted them when I realized that, um, you know, I should have started planting them in, in spring, but when I realized them it was already in summer, so I, I started planting them, well I planted them in summer, you know, in December. Yeah man, but um, let's hope them all get ready before the winter chip in, if not, my bad luck, but I'm excited, I love what them are going with, and hopefully you guys like the progress I've been making, and let me show you, so this is my papaya, yeah, papaya tree, and, and also, would you believe me that I actually have Papa pan tree right you now or papaya <laughs> English terms you get me I actually have papaya on my tree yeah man this one not ready yet but let me show you the other one let me show you what I'm going take a look at this what does this look like to you guys what is this thing called <laughs> yes man I have my first papaya here's another one Another one right here and more blossom. So guys, there's lots of stuff been happening. You guys can see. Color low blossom. See it. You guys can see even the okra. Um, I have lots of dry one on the tree. Also I have so many in the fridge that's frozen along with even pepper. And yes, these are the dashin. Otherwise taro. So you guys can see the, the dashi in them. So recently um <clears throat> my wife brother and her wife um came because her wife is from the islands um Pacific Island. So they eat um the taro leaves in in um these islands as well. A lot of these islands they eat taro leaves. So they came and they cut some of them. Yeah, as you guys can see like these are the tips that they cut off so they eat the leaves as well which I really enjoy it I'm not gonna lie you know I've never had taro leaf before but the way they cook it with the coconut milk and the um, like the lamb meat and all of that is just really something to try guys like um, yeah and it, the food is from uh, from Tonga so that's the island that um, my wife's sister-in-law is from and yeah the food is really nice really nice the way they cook it yeah man so um i hope you guys love it oh yeah one more thing look at this this right here is a pumpkin see that young pumpkin uh should even i don't know if this is real let me question this because in jamaica i've let me get the best lighting because I'm behind the tree, but yeah. Um, in Jamaica, I remember my father and even other elders used to say, do not point at a pumpkin, otherwise they'll fall off. Do you guys believe in that? Believe in that? Um, so from I was young, I always practiced not to point, point at a pumpkin. 
<laughs> you know, but sometimes I think they just naturally fall off um, or they just, yeah. But anyway, um, so this is a different type of pumpkin. I don't know what they call this pumpkin, but all I know is that we we'll buy this pumpkin from the shop and we throw the seeds and them grow. The, mo the amount of pumpkin trees I had to get rid of, I just left these ones to um, come up. And yeah, so that's that's one pumpkin there and there's actually more. Let me show you. Here's another one. Yeah, there's more pumpkin. Lots of young ones on the tree actually. So these ones actually grow really long. They're not like the round pumpkin. You know. We saw a sub tree. Yeah, and also babes. Let me show you babes um, lemon tree. And this is babes lemon tree. You know. Lots of lemon on it. Always loaded. They all like the progress anyway, you know. Yeah man, pure sorrow. This is all sorrow. Yeah man, so this is Lika Jamaica, you know. Home away from home. You don't know me have to bring the tropical vibe. Anywhere I go. Yeah, so these are the bean trees now. Most of them whole. You can see them still have on bean though. Yeah. This is my single Bible. Otherwise, aloe vera, you know? Yes, man. Good for clean out the system, you know? Yeah. And look at this to me, even have one more can. <laughs> wow, one can tree there, you know? Yeah, man. Okra. Yeah, I have to pick them when they're small, you know. They want them too big, them tough. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Look at me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm at the back. Yeah, we're at the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, I love him so much.
beautiful people. Have a crazy piece of storm coming in here. You guys should have seen the birds earlier. I didn't have the camera. I'm talking like hundreds were just flying. Crazy storm forward. When the storm come here, it looks really, really scary. Like. I just want to say, give thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the journey, yeah? Alright, until then, it's the Island Boy Africa. And I'm out. <laughs>